G'day, how fast can you solve this question? Three quarters of 15. You've got five seconds, go. Time's up. If you got the answer of 11 and a quarter, congratulations, you got the right answer. If not, I'm going to show you right now how to work out these questions instantly and easily. So I'm gonna start out with an easier type of question here and I'll get back to my three quarters of 15. So if for instance, I was going to work out a fraction of a number, it's fairly simple. I'm gonna use an easy example, say I was working out three quarters of 12. Now the way I do this is fairly simple. Three quarters of 12. A quarter of 12, well, that's going to be 12 divided by four. 12 divided by four is equal to three. Then what I do is I say one quarter of 12 is equal to three. Well, three quarters of 12 is going to be three times as much. Three times three, we would have our answer of nine. Three quarters of 12 is equal to nine. When you're doing this, however, it doesn't matter whether you do the division first or the multiplication, or the multiplication first, then the division. We could have easily said 12 times three is 36, divided by four is equal to nine. And that's precisely what we're going to do for some of these questions, especially where you have a remainder in that first step otherwise. So let's get back to our initial example. If you were doing the following, three quarters of 15, how would I go through and do this? Well, the first off, if I go 15 divided by four, I can see straight away I'm going to get a number with a remainder. 15 divided by four is equal to three. Three fours are 12, but it leaves me three left over. So it's three and three quarters. Then I've got to multiply by three. It's a bit icky. So what I'm going to do first instead is I'm going to multiply by three. 15 times three is 45. 45 divided by four. Well, that's not so bad. 45 divided by four, we get our answer. 45 divided by four is 11. 11 fours are 44 and we have one left over. We put that over our denominator here and we get 11 and a quarter. And that's how easy these are to work out. So what about I give you a couple of these that you can practice by yourself. Now, remember, you may do the division part of the fraction first or the multiplication part first, depending on what's easiest for you. So the following questions you are going to get. What about we start out with four fifths of 45? We'll then move on to two thirds of 23. And then last of all, we will get to three eighths of 27. So what about you pause the video and give these a go. And by the way, if you like this trick and maybe you currently use it, don't just eyeball the like button, push down hard and declare your love for the Tech Math Channel. Subscribe for more math tricks. So let's get to our answers. The first question, four fifths of 45. Now. If this number on the bottom goes into the number we have here easily, I tend to divide first. So 45 divided by five, nice and easy. 45 divided by five is equal to nine. The top number here is a multiplication number. Nine times four, we have our answer, which is 36. Now the next one we have, pretty simple, 23. Now look, three doesn't go into that very nicely. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do the multiplication part first. 23 times two is equal to 46, and then I'm going to divide by three. 46 divided by three, hey, that's not too hard, because three times 15 is 45, and we have one left over. That's one over this bottom number here, one third. Our answer, 15 and a third. To our last question, three eighths of 27. Now eight doesn't go into 27 very well, so once again, I'm going to multiply first. What is 27 times three? Okay, that's not too bad a question. 27 times three is 81, and I'm going to divide that by eight, which is a simple question. 81 divided by eight, well, 10 eight to 80, and we have one left over. We get our answer, 10 and one over eight. We use that bottom uh, denominator there. Done and dusted. Anyway, that's all for this video. Fractions, you're now part of the three out of two people who understand them really well. And do you want more fractions tricks? Well, we have plenty of them here at the Tech Math Channel. Check out our links in the description below. And as usual, if you like this trick, please do a little bit more than just looking at the like button. Smash down on it and leave a comment. A big shout out and a thank you to my patrons. There's 10 of you now. There is a link in the description below if you wish to support my channel. It is greatly appreciated. And once again, I thank you. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.